All right, we're on a road trip to the beach. Good morning. We are going to Coromandel Beach. It looks like this. We found it in a magazine. I asked our hostess, the Airbnb lady, if this was a good one, and she said it had been affected by a bunch of storms and that some of the roads had been blown out. But, you know, that's not going to stop us. Uh -huh. This view is awesome. It's uh, the Coromandel, just down the road from Auckland. And it's an adventure, and we love that. It should be about two and a half hours, it said. So we're trying to get the technology to connect so we could have uh, some type of guide to get us there, and uh, that seems to be giving us a problem today. Just one of those things. That's right. When you're traveling around the world, you've got portable technology, and basically we're, we've got the two iPhones, a laptop, a bunch of chargers and connectors, and Lots drives. of other gear to keep us all connected. It's uh, hard to keep all that powered up, but right now we're having cellular technology issues, I think, and uh, we're trying to get those resolved so we can get on our way. We also travel with a VPN, which is a virtual private network, which was recommended by a lot of other YouTubers. And a lot of times it seems like it's an obstacle for us, but I always try to keep it on because we're always doing this travel planning, like our next stop is Bali in Indonesia. And uh, they want me to use WhatsApp and you have all these apps. Every time you book a tour, they want you to download their app and interact with them on that. Uh, we've picked a little bit of a remote uh, place to go today. Yeah, so we're going to connect my phone and see if it'll work any better. We'll keep you updated. steps. A little winded, but I think we got it. When we were down there, though, we were traveling along a ravine with a creek uh, that I would see periodically some water in uh, down in the valley in the depths next to the road. And we were looking at these for a while now in the distance and now we're here it's pretty hot up here <laughs> and dry and the clouds have been out all day but as you can see we've got some sun so this is a lookout that you have to hike to of course it's not one you just get off the road <laughs> and walk to it, it but was... it's worth it and then our first stop in the Coromandel was Powanui Beach and we went deep in the suburbs to get to this beach. Um, once there, we found this little surf club area with a public access, and it looked like a great spot to have lunch. So we settled in uh, above the dunes with this beautiful view of the deep blue ocean. And there were a few tourists, I suppose, but Look like mainly local people that were vacationing for the holiday. This is on the Bay of Plenty 
and there there's a river that comes and spills into the ocean there uh, on the north of the uh, Bay of Plenty. It was a little cloudy day and very, very moody as the clouds were hugging uh, the header to the right. There was still some folks enjoying themselves and we certainly did too. On Life on Vacay, we're always searching for the blue water, the turquoise water, and looks like we found the Pacific Ocean here on New Zealand. Once again, we can tell this far away just because of the color of the water. It's just uncomparable clarity and beauty when you find a very unpopulated ocean spot somewhere in the world. We spent a beautiful afternoon on a beautiful day at Papamora Beach. And it was so welcome because we've been experiencing a couple of days where it was raining and overcast and kind of gloomy. And boy, did this change all of that. It was paradise on Earth. New Zealand is fine. check out this volcano over here in front of us before we leave and go back to the Airbnb which is three hours away. We just can't stand it. Gotta see it. Best in the area right here. All the food trucks. This is kind of the end of the line where it comes to the coast right here. And so it is uh, highly populated. There's a beautiful park, green park to the left of us. Might be able to see water on three sides, but one of the sides is over that volcano. So. This is the Grand Pacific. Where would we be without roundabouts? Those or instead of uh, red lights or stop signs, we got roundabouts. Sometimes they just go straight. A big camp here. Right here, oh, a harbor. A harbor beach. Very pretty. Oh! No wonder. A cruise ship is in. So we're coming up on the harbor here and we see a cruise ship and docked here and that always brings loads of uh, visitors to a particular area. So that's just what we're seeing. This is why it's so populated. Yeah, yeah they come into the bay here and dock for the day. Folks can say they came to New Zealand and experience this area and this is a really nice area to experience, I would say. Very nice. One of my favorites so far. I guess it's pretty bougie.
So this is Cathedral Cove and it's one of the main attractions here on this side of Auckland. Um, we are kind of disappointed because it is closed due, some, due to some really bad weather that came through here and compromised some of the structure to get down to the actual beach level where the coves are. So you can't do that through this park and I've read some of the signs and it says that you cannot access the cove or any of the other bays or coves around it without being in a boat. I found a stock image of what you might see from the cave looking out. Of course, it's pretty spectacular and we have a great imagination, right? So this, folks, is Cathedral Cove. Now, we're not able to get down there, but I wanted you to see from this vantage point what it's supposed to look like. And, um, you know, it's unfortunate, but this is the best we're gonna be able to do today. Even though the sun sets very late in the summer in Auckland, the North Island of New Zealand, it was time for us to get back. And as we traveled back toward our Airbnb in Cleveland, we wandered into the Karangaheke Gorge area. And man, that was an unexpected treat. Um, Near the riverside, it was just so cool and lush with the babbling river and the rocky uh, pebbles and bridges. You could see another side, the gorge on the North Island there. And um, as the sun continued to go down very, very slowly with a long twilight, it just lights up the hillsides or the mountainsides. Um, and it's so idyllic. It really looks just like a storybook. And so until next time, um, that'll be the conclusion of this video on the North Island of New Zealand. <laughs>